y'all, it's Lacey, the Catholic Icing Lady, and today I'm going to show you how to draw this stained glass window with a chalice. If you would like to start with the frame of your stained glass window already drawn, I have a free printable. Look at the link in the description below. Otherwise, I am going to show you how to draw the entire thing. Look, I already have some marker on my finger even though we haven't started drawing it. Okay, we're gonna put the window in the middle of the paper here. So the window will go around the outside if you didn't start with the frame. So we're gonna start with the chalice. So definitely leave room around the edge for your window frame. We're gonna start with one curved line and then we're gonna make another curved line that goes underneath. It kind of makes a very, very long skinny football shape and that's the very top of our chalice. So then we're gonna make a U shape that connects the two sides of the top of the chalice together. So I'm gonna come down and make a U shape and then back up to the other side. Okay, next we're gonna add the stem at the bottom of the chalice. So it's gonna come down from here and I'm gonna start with a line on this left side and then it's gonna curve a little bit out and then we're gonna make another line on this right side and we're trying to make it the same, but it curves the other way. So try to make them about the same length. Okay, now we're gonna draw a curvy line to connect these two like that. And then another line that parallels that line so it runs right beside it. And then we're gonna connect it on the end with some little C shapes. Okay, so now we're gonna add in the bottom of the chalice. So we're gonna start with two straight lines coming out each side, and they're gonna kinda of line up with the bottom of the chalice, and they're gonna fan out. We're also try to make them about the same length. Then we're gonna connect them with a curvy line like a smile, and that is the basic outline of our chalice. Okay, now, we're gonna move on to putting a few details on the chalice. So I'm gonna start here with a bumpy line that has three big bumps. So bump, and then a middle one, bump, and then a third one. Great job. Now we're gonna come in and put a straight line under that middle bump, and then I'm gonna angle it slightly up on each side. Then I'm gonna connect these to the bottom and that makes a design on our chalice. Okay, for those of you that did not start with the outline of your stained glass already, I'm gonna show you how to draw in your own outline as a window frame. So we're gonna start with a straight line that goes across the bottom. Then we want the chalice to seem like it's in the middle of the window. So we're gonna look straight up to the middle and I'm gonna just put one little dot at the top where the top of my window is gonna be. So that's a dot that I can draw myself a line to. Now these lines are gonna go up the sides and it's gonna have a straight line first. So I'm gonna give myself a dot on each side. So I'm gonna to try to line up with this dot and the bottom of my line and I'm gonna put myself another dot. So now I have three dots that kinda of go around the top of the chalice. So if I turn my paper, it'll help me draw a straight line better because that's the way my arm naturally curves. So I'm gonna draw that line to that dot. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here at the bottom from this line to my dot. Then I'm gonna turn the paper back and I'm gonna connect both of these to that top dot. So I'm gonna bring that up. I'm gonna turn my paper again. There, so that creates our window shape. So. I'm gonna create another line that goes all the way around on the inside of this line to give myself a good border around the stained glass window. So I'm gonna start down here and I'm just gonna mirror that line and stop. Okay, then I'm gonna turn my paper again. So now I can follow the edge of this line and I'm just trying to keep it about the same distance from that first line that I drew. I'm gonna do it at the bottom here. Then bring it up to the top and stop. 
So now I have a double line going all the way around the chalice to create the outside frame of the stained glass window. It's looking great, you guys. So now we have a really fun part. We get to fill in the background with a stained glass pattern. So to do that, I'm just gonna create straight lines and at different angles, another straight line, and I'm just gonna stop when I get to the edge of the chalice. So I'm gonna do straight lines randomly and it's just going to make different shapes so some triangles and some just very interesting geometric shapes with all different numbers of sizes just wherever I feel like one of the sections could be a little bit smaller I can just draw another line in there to make one of those shapes into two shapes by just putting a line down the middle, just like that. So I'm going to go all the way around my window and I'm going to just keep adding these lines. This is going to provide a really good background to our stained glass. It's going to be really pretty after we color it. When we're ready to color, I'm going to tell you guys a really good trick that you can use with color and it's going to make this chalice just really seem like it's popping off of the paper and it has a really good frame around it. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to keep drawing our straight lines. I think it helps to make some of them really long and then come back into those sections and make those sections a little bit smaller. So when you look on your paper, if you see any of the shapes that just seem too big, just divide them in the middle with a line. So you just start with big shapes. And they don't all have to be exactly the same size. This is the fun and free part, so we don't have to worry about too many rules here. And I think I've got my stained glass. So now I'm going to come in with a pattern just a little bit around this outside frame that we drew. And I'm going to start by making a tiny square in each corner. See how I made that little square by adding two lines? And then I'm going to come up to the top and do the same thing by making a very small V shape. So I get kind of three squares, one at each corner. Then I'm going to angle some lines out at these corners. Now I'm just going to come in and add little lines to make rectangular shapes all around in a frame. So they're just kind of shaped like bricks. Just any line that makes it a rectangle and they don't have to be perfectly spaced out, but I am trying to make mine kind of the same size. So I decided to make two more lines right there before I get to that line. This, again, is going to be so cool when we color it. I just love how these turn out at the end. It's totally worth the work. Okay, and we have all of our rectangles around the window. So, what we're going to do to help the chalice stand out from the background just a little bit more is we're going to take our black marker and we're going to darken the lines just around the outside shape of the chalice. So I'm going to run a second line right around the outside of that first line and it's just going to make that line about twice as thick as the other lines on my paper. And I'm going to go just around the outside of my chalice just to accent that shape of the chalice to help it not get lost in the pattern behind it. I'm gonna also accent this top line here. Okay, so now our chalice is standing out a little bit better. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the same thing to our window on the inside of that frame, is to just make this line bold around the outside edge of this window. See how that just looks darker once we run a second line beside the first line?
These are going to be so cool when we're all finished. I'm going to darken this bottom line here. And I think these windows are looking absolutely amazing. Now it's time for the really fun part of coloring it. Here's what's going to make your window look really cool. The chalice itself, like usually we think of chalice as being gold. So you're going to make sure to color the chalice only in warm colors. Warm colors are red, yellow, and orange. They kind of remind us of heat. So that's going to go on your chalice. Then in these background shapes that are behind the chalice, we're going to use only cool colors. So cool colors are like purple, blue, and green. Then in the outside frame, we're going to switch back to warm colors again. And that's going to make your chalice just really pop off of the window and stand out from that cool color background. If you really enjoyed drawing this window, I have several other stained glass how to draw videos. So be sure to look on my channel and check those out.